Fantasy Ordo Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Johnny Leroy. And we have the myth, the legend, the horror man, Jim Jams here with us. What's up, guys? Jim Jam here. Hey, guys. We got a good podcast. And the person we have on, they have a giveaway. So, listen up. Check it out. And you got to listen a good ways in to know what the giveaway is. Or, well, you probably look in the link below. But listen to the podcast. First live stream, too. Check it out. Live stream. We live stream this. Ugh. The description will be uh, for that to, uh, in the description and all that. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> all right, guys. So today we have Amanda from Ghoulish Delights where, you know, she has horror-themed bath products. We had her on, what was it, a few months ago? Yeah, something like that. About six months ago. Amanda, it's great to have yeah. you here. It's been a long time. Feels like a long time. It has. It, yeah, I think it's been about almost like half a year, I think. Yeah, it feel, it's been about six months. Yeah. Yeah. Too damn so, long, yo. <laughs> uh-huh. Too damn long. Well, so what she, you been up to? She stays busy all the time now. This is her full-time job. I do. I know, like, I barely leave my house anymore because I'm just, like, literally chained to, like, my mixer, so. That is, I mean, as a personal business owner, you know, whatever, small business owner, that's what happens to you, right? Oh, yeah. Like, I'm I'm not complaining, like, in the slightest. I think it's, like, I've gotten better about, like, I guess finding, like, the balance between working from home and, like, trying to, like, have a social life a little bit, but work always kind of takes precedent over it and i'm really lucky that like my friends and family kind of like understand <laughs> so they don't give me too much shit about it but i can start telling when like i'm you know crawling at the walls like ready to go like go do something so i actually went out yesterday and had brunch like a human being it was fancy <laughs> fancy brunch just not any brunch not not really <laughs> it was actually like in a 50s diner but it was hey that's nice, nice though actually. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It was good. I needed that. Yeah, get out and do something. Like, well, that, we're the same way. Work, work, work. Yeah, I've, this is yeah. my seventh day working straight, so. Yeah. No, sir. No, sir. It's well, just, if I can, uh, yeah. if me and Johnny can get this Tuesday Horton is going to pay all the bills. And <laughs> yeah, that'd be the dream. Uh-huh. No, do it up. Oh, I That's why we got the merch it. store. Yeah, yeah, we <laughs> we launched our merch store. I think it's good that you guys went over to, like, different, like, media platforms. So, like, I know it's a lot easier for me to, like, go into, like, iTunes while I'm, like, driving and just listening to your podcast. Yeah, so. we've, we've actually got a little bit of feedback, and and I, I realize that it's worth putting the more extra work in to get them on there. And The only reason I didn't is because I couldn't figure it out, and then I finally just sat down and actually did it, and... The mm-hmm. only thing that was holding me back is the pic- the pixels of the picture was too big. Too small, wasn't oh, it? Too yeah. small, too small. I know. No, I get the, like, the website stuff. Like, I, I, I think I have dated mine like a couple of weeks ago because I couldn't figure out how to do like subcategories. And it was just something like I kept forgetting about until it was the day that I was restocking my stuff and I didn't have time to like sit there and learn code. So I was like, Mm-mm. so I finally sat down like a lot of time in my schedule to actually teach myself how to, you know, do this miscellaneous stuff that makes it easier for my customers so i got good feedback about that but it's just like finding the time to like input those little tiny changes that make like such a big difference all right well okay i want to ask this i don't know if you'll tell me or not but do you have a count of how much products you sold since you launched um no because it's a little skewed because I ended up um, using three different selling platforms when I first started. Uh, wow. Um, I'm now using Shopify. So, like, I don't know, like, piece-wise, I, I got it in the thousands, like, thousands and thousands of pieces, like, because I'm in thousands and thousands of orders right now, so, um, total-wise. So, um, I don't really know exactly the amount, I think, when, like, I do my taxes <laughs> for, for my state, um, I'll have, like, kind of a better idea of it, but I kind of. Are you gonna yeah, have a heart attack know. too? <laughs> um, yeah, yes. I'm doing things a little bit differently because before my space is very limited here. Um, 
so what I ended up doing was, you know, I know how much, like, my supplies can get me through, so I would stock what I could, because I literally blocked off the front entrance of my house for storage. Um, wow. So I don't even use that part. <laughs> so that's all storage. So, like, I fill up that, and then I, you know, calculate how much I have to be able to do a restock with. So, you know, it's it kind of goes in waves, and then my work area right now is very tiny, so it's like, all of like doing a little bit here that I can do and then clean it up and then start again and then pack orders. So then it's kind of like this wave. So I can only get through so much stuff so quickly. Um, and that's something like a little bit of a wait time for our shipping, which really kind of makes me piss. So I don't, um, I'm doing things a little bit differently. So my restocks are actually going to be a lot smaller and I'm only going to be stocking what I have in stock and then on hand versus like making it, waiting for the dry time, setting time, that kind of stuff. So you're gonna have to start I buying don't want buildings. To I feel bad. <laughs> yeah, like You're gonna have to start getting like buildings put outside of your house, like <laughs> containers. Yeah, well, and my stuff. workshop's actually getting worked on. Like it was on pause for a hot minute, but now the electrical's getting worked on. Oh, oh that's my awesome. dog's barking. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so the electrical's getting worked on. I've already bought like all the sheetrock to get hung. Um, oh yeah, moving um, on up. Yeah, so that's like that's good, and I like the fact here. that like it's about a twenty minute drive. <laughs> Moving Tank. on up. Stop, stop oh, it's a 20 minute drive from your house? My, yeah, which is fine with me because I actually miss driving to work, which sounds really stupid, but I do. Like, I miss, like, going to work. Like, it's, it's, I guess, like, the first, like, couple of months is great to, like, roll out of bed and, like, do your stuff and, you know, answer emails and, like, your pajamas and stuff. But, like, I, I like, I like the fact I can make my own schedule, but I like the idea of like getting dressed and maybe putting a face of makeup on so I don't look like a potato. So oh. <laughs> potato. <laughs> this. I don't know. Like I just I like you know going and getting my coffee and stuff on the way, and you know because I feel like I really like missed a lot of fall. Like I love autumn in uh, in New England, and I felt like I really missed out because like halfway through I finally like more towards Halloween. I finally went out and, like, drove around and, like, went to the pumpkin picking and, you know, went to a couple, like, went to a haunt and stuff and, like, driving. I was like, holy shit, look at the trees. Like, I completely missed, like, all the foliage and stuff. So, like, that's the kind of stuff that I miss just leaving the house just to go to work, like, on the daily. So, I'm excited about that. Ask me again in the wintertime when I'm, like, driving through, like, that's bringing, what I'm like, sitting here thinking. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, you know, that snow's up there really bad. So, <laughs> like, it don't snow yeah. much down here, but... Up there, I'm just yeah. sitting there thinking, you're not going to want to drive 20 minutes. I know. But what's nice to you is I can hire somebody, too. So that's going to be good. So even if I can't go and if they can make it, it'll be like a shorter distance to get there. So, you know, depending on how that works out and stuff. Hell, yeah, that's good. Your business is taking off dramatically. That's awesome. Oh yeah, It has. I'm still trying to, like, catch the whirlwind, like, kind of... I'm trying to, like, make sure everyone gets everything that they want, but in the same instance, I'm kind of, like, wearing myself very thin, and I want to make sure that my customer sta- their, like service standards are always impeccable. So um, I find that sometimes they get bogged down with emails and stuff, and I'm like, ah! Like, I literally get probably, like, close to, like, 30 to 60 emails a day. Wow. Like, it's a lot. <laughs> so, wow. like, if I don't, you know, I only use it through my laptop. Um, I actually disconnected my work email for my phone because it was just too out of control so I only answer emails a few days a week just because I don't have the time and I get tired and then like I start misspelling stuff so I only have like a couple of days that I do it so you know all of a sudden bam I have like 300 that I have to answer so I'm like meh <laughs> well, it just goes to show you though like the people love the product and yeah I mean, and, it, and it's yeah, wild though, like the the horror theme do you think that's a big part of it the, the horror theme um, I think so. I think it's a, a mix between, um, I don't know, because being a weirdo and being kind of like gothy <laughs> and strange growing up, like there was like, you know, and just being, being kind of like a little bit of a freak. Like I was, you know, back in like whenever, because I'm 32, but, you know, we we're called freaks. Like that was, you know, what we were and stuff. And there just really wasn't anything like geared towards that besides like Jinko jeans that you picked up a like hot <laughs> yeah. topic and shit. Like, you know, wow. they just wasn't like. Yeah, you know, throwing it back, and um, so oh, I mean, they're really, chinkos. so I mean, we're all kind of like, I don't know, there just wasn't anything geared towards that for the most part, and I don't, I feel like it connects a lot with people, because especially horror fans, like, I think I had touched on this the first interview, where like, you know, um, you want your horror 
stuff, like your your love of it, to like kind of infiltrate everything in your life. I know I do. I want to wear it on like t-shirts. I want to have memorabilia. I want it like on my coffee mugs and stuff. And why not put it on your friggin' face? Like hello, you know. So <laughs> that's a good that's a good line. Why not put it on your freaking face? <laughs> yeah, why not? Like, and you know, so I think it's the feedback between that and then also like I really do put a lot of love and blood sweat and tears into every product that I put out like I'm not putting it out just to make money like I really want to like help people in their skin because this, the core of it is from an aesthetics point of view so well I um, that's... we have two listeners right now just saying oh do we yeah my, my computer is all the way on the other side of the room, so... Hi, I listeners. Can't see anything. So, yeah. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if they type anything, because I know that there's a little typey box down there. Yeah, I don't see nothing yet, so... Oh, uh, yeah, I made a, a homemade commercial kind of thing with the leather face mask on with, uh, was it Bloodbath? Oh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot about that. That's right. <clears throat> yeah. We'll have to relaunch that. Yeah, well, <laughs> and then then you can put it up on your website. Now, That's now, true. On your, you know, you get, on, like, on the some shop. crazy like music going, and you know, yeah. have your wife like throw like blood on you and stuff. You should have your wife do it. She's smoking. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> she is. Um, she is. Yeah, well, I don't know go. if I don't know if we can put that on YouTube if she's in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't have to like veer into like the crazy stuff, but. Well, well, she can She's wear. A peach. I love your wife. She can wear the the leather face uh, apron. Apron, yeah. I got a leather face apron too, so she can wear that with all her goodness. There you go, <laughs> in, in all her goodness. I'm I'm being quiet. Over I here. like it. Johnny's not going to talk. No, I'm, I'm okay. Not going to yeah, talk about that, that um, stuff. Yeah, I felt like I I should uh, make a a video of me. But bath, here's the thing, though, is like, nice. and then you have him make the video, and then you just like constantly running in your shop just to give you inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like put it on a I loop. Didn't, I didn't learn how to embed videos. Now you're asking me to like do some crazy coding, so it's probably gonna make me like. No, no, no. I'm just talking about at your shop. Know, like, like when you get the shop no. built, you just you just loop it. <laughs> just loop it. Oh, your... just have like up on like a flat screen. Just yeah, going, just like, loop it. So your so your workers are inspired. Like you know, <laughs> if you get a customer knocks on the door, just so happens, to, oh, they found out where you where your shop is. Like you're not selling out of there, but you know, the I first thing have, they like, some the first thing um, they see is options. Jim Jam in next to a bathtub, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "What Back the fuck time. is going Back on time. here?" <laughs> Crazy. So I actually have like um. Kind of like a box of stuff that's going to be going with me to my studio um and it's actually a lot of letters like people have sent me letters and like little bibs and bobs and also like cards and letters from other small businesses which are amazing and then also from customers and just people like that haven't bought anything but are just like no nah, i love horror which i think is like awesome so that kind of stuff like really inspires me to like those days where i'm like oh my god i haven't had any coffee and this one want to be a royal pain in the ass, like that kind of stuff motivates me, you know, to like make something, but then like make it even better, you know. So yeah, and your product's all natural. I think that has a correct, like that has a big deal too with people, especially around it does. now. Like, I, like it. Well, a lot of people have like a lot of allergies, especially like you know, like our generation where we're in the thirties and stuff like that, and like. I don't know. I just feel like going that route is so much better. I worked at an eco-organic salon and it was like a spa and um, it was like probably the coolest experience I think I've ever had. It was a very weird place to work employee wise, but like I had like a lot of free reign there. I learned like so much and stuff and I saw a lot of um, improvement in people's skin um, faster with natural products. And I find that like you know, it's easier for people to use the stuff because it isn't loaded with crap because a lot of people don't know exactly what they're allergic to, but they know if they're, like, allergic to peanuts or, you know, flowers or something, you know. So it's a lot easier for people with sensitivities to shop in my shop because everything's listed and everything is natural. So that's good. Okay, so you know a lot about beauty products and stuff, so I'm going to ask this one question because... Sure. I worked in retail for like 10 years 
and most of it was in like meat department, but uh, you know at one of the big box stores. And Wally World. No, no, uh, easy. Hey, hey, I didn't say the real name. But uh, <laughs> so we we took meat, you know, the bad meat, had to cut it open, put it in barrels, and we pushed it out there. And the guys that took that meat always claimed. I don't know if this is true. That that product would get heated up and the oils from that product would end up getting put in makeup. Have you ever heard oh, of like lard? Like from the meat? Yeah, like the... the, the like I mean, this stuff's rotten. You know, it smells bad. <laughs> I mean, it's put in a dump truck. I mean, and, um, I know that like a lot of um, some people that do like cold process soap making, like soaping... I don't do that, but um, I know people that do, especially that are on farms and stuff, they'll actually use the, like, tallow and the lard and stuff like that from animal nuts. actually how mm-hmm. it's the fat that makes the suds. So, I mean, I don't it, I don't know if, it, like, I've never played around with this, so I don't know if it, like, reaches the point of, like, where it goes rancid and just gets freaking stanky. I don't know. I don't know what that threshold is, but I know it's a, it's a very common, it's been around since people started making their own shit in general so um i know that people do do that yeah because so. this is probably industrial i mean hey, well, what about fight club they use they went into the oh, they plastic the surgery got fat. oh yeah they the people yeah, selling their own fat asses back to themselves yep <laughs> exactly Maybe it's like so. that only is with like animals but i mean like my line is like 100 percent vegan as of right now until i watch my new line which does have one item that has beeswax in it which I'm still kind of on the fence about putting it out. Like, I've tried it, like, 18,000 different times to make it vegan, but it's just not working the way that I want to, and I will not put out a subpar product. So I'm having a little bit of a moral struggle with it. Like, I put it up on social media. Like, I will not do anything without, like, consulting my people. Like, I want my customers happy. Like, they are my people. We talk about horror movies. We get excited about stuff. So I want to make sure that they're, like, cool with what I'm doing and, What's a lot that? of the draw is that um, my products are 100% vegan, so they don't have to worry. It's a safe place for vegans to go shop at. But then there's like that split line where there's vegans that do use beeswax and some of them that won't. So it's kind of up in the air. I'm not 100% sure. It's a great product, but I'm still kind of on the fence about whether or not I'm going to launch it. Okay, so, but my whole thing is <laughs> bees makes it non vegan? The uh, what? Bees make it non vegan? Yes, they won't use any like animal byproducts or anything like that because so these honey and everything is made by them ingesting pollen and you know it's um, especially like big commercial hivers and stuff. Um, they'll that kind of like constant turnover for like the honeycombs and stuff like that um, is stressful for a bee. Um, yeah. But I know that there's some like I get mine ethically sourced from somewhere else where it's just naturally done. Like it's not yeah. a stressful situation for them. So I mean. And again, there's it's it's a kind of like a touchy subject because it's you know bees are needed and that kind of very needed you know it's it's a whole other topic so it's it's up to the person whether or not they want to do it because so. if we don't have we'll, bees what happens I know I will have a lot less everything will, everything dies <laughs> no but uh, what what's that movie M Night Shyamalan oh uh, the the happening yeah there you go by God if we don't have bees the happening happens. Well, well, then we need to get Everybody ready. goes crazy. Then we right? need to get is rid that of what wasps. that was about, though? No. Oh, I thought it was. We need to get rid of wasps is what it is. They're, they're pointless. They just hurt. They're assholes. Yeah. They just hurt. I know. What's funny is, like, I was actually I'm super allergic to bees and wasps and everything. Like, definitely. Like, I was in the ER, like, three times. I think two times. It, like, re-jumped my heart. Like, it was serious. What's... And, um... But, like, I went and did, um like bee therapy when I was a kid so like I ended up getting like six shots every week to build Good up my God. natural immunity to bees oh yeah it was fucking shitty it was shitty but you know it's funny is I only got stung like I got stung a ton when I was a kid but then I only got stung once after, after that <laughs> yeah go so I don't out. know like That's... yeah so I, I don't know we'll see if I'm if I'm so allergic I don't know I'm not I stay away from well, bees I thought that the more you got stung by something the, the worse your immunity immune system got to it. like wasps the more the more they sting you the worse the worse and they're assholes my brother he tried to save one like seriously like he was in the house because i mean he don't want to kill stuff i mean because it's just trying to live he got in the house so 
He grabs a, a paper towel, grabs it, thinks he throws it outside. That son of a bitch come back in, went up the back of his shirt and stung him. <laughs> and he tried to save it. That's not mad. He's mad. You don't want to be touched. He's Thanks. coming back for blood. Thanks, yeah. Dick. <laughs> yeah. Like there's one time I watched it just, it just now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, why? Well, yeah, oh that's what he got stomped. That watch got, got stomped. stomped. It's like damn, you just stung me. You're dead. I yeah, know. usually like I don't really kill like any bugs that are in the house. Like I make Bobby like go and like fetch them and then like go put them outside. Yeah, I mean because they're only trying to live too, in my opinion. Like except yeah. for them little dirty bastard cockroaches. Oh yeah, well then we get killed. <laughs> Those <laughs> little dirty bastards. They're probably really clean, though. But No, they're not. They're dirty bastards. I mean, if I see... I don't know. If you live, like, I lived in Florida for, like, seven years, and, like, they're just everywhere. It doesn't matter how clean your house is uh, or anything. The, the bitches are everywhere. But I had uh, raised chickens and know. stuff, and those were, like, the chickens, like, I would move, like, their grazing area and stuff, and, like, they'd go and, like, eat all the cockroaches, and, and that were just chilling in the yard. You know, it wasn't, like, you know, and they just thought it was, like, the greatest thing ever. My chickens were, like, the happiest. They got, like, Captain Crunch... And like friggin' all sorts of stuff. Do you got a farm? Like you're you're trying Uh, to make sweet eggs, like Captain Crunch. They're they're so good. I had like this really cool chicken. Her name was Dolly Parton, and then she laid. She had like big. She was a big white chicken with like big boobies. Yeah. So she laid like double yolk eggs. uh, (laughs) Double yolk eggs. (laughs) Yes. They're I seriously. They're she was awesome. Sassy little bitch. Go out there and get them <laughs> spurred. There you go. But um, yeah, I went to what was it? Uh, uh, uh Comic Con, and I actually picked up some collectibles, like horror collectibles. I was wicked excited. What What did you pick up? Um, I actually picked up uh, the new Living Dead dolls for um, Sam from Trick or Treat. No. Oh. Um, which I was really excited because I had that on pre-order from another company. And uh, I was able to actually get it for sticker cost, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah. And then I actually picked up a NECA statuette thing from Dr. Chenard from Hellraiser 2. You know, the guy that was, like, with the scalpels. He was like, the doctor is in. And he had, like, tentacles and shit. Yeah. Sounds... I love Hellraiser, so that's, like, right up my alley. So I saw that, and I was, like, haggling. I never haggle, but I did that time. <laughs> I had some liquid courage in me. I was like, "Oh yeah, let's haggle." So we ended up. I get it like thirty dollars cheaper than what they are asking for. Hell so I was all yeah. proud of myself. So yeah, get some. A plus, you're a woman. That helps. Yeah, it didn't does matter. Does it? I don't think so. Like, no, just you know, does I, it? I because some people like to take advantage of women in that situation. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, I was like googling it and looking on eBay, so like I kind of knew the idea. My dog is like in here with me. Your dog's fine. Yeah, here's the place. <laughs> Um, What's your dog saying? I was like checking the prices. Like I, I always know kind of like what collectibles I want. I was actually looking for that one a few years ago because it was from like the early 2000s, I think, is when it came out. And it was like one of those things I kind of wanted. Then you finally got so. it, right? Huh? And you finally got it, right? I finally got it, and I was a happy girl. <laughs> happy I'm girl. Just, I'm trying to wait. I'm trying to hide these dog toys from my dog because he wants to just be in my face and, like, squeak the damn thing, like, right into the phone. What's your dog's name? Don't. Tank. Pink? Tank, yeah. Um, oh, Tank. Actually, I'll be Tank, yeah. He is a, he's huge, um, and he's a puppy, so he's only about six months old. Tank, that's um, But I'll actually be having a charity item um, for the uh, the rescue that I got him from. So all the 100 percent of the proceeds will go to the rescue. That um, that's awesome. Because okay. like I, I freaking love this dog. Like he is a lifesaver. Like he's just my my baby. Um, and the people that work um, for a Sweet Paws Rescue, they're amazing people. Um, yeah. So I really want to you know pay, pay back and say thank you for giving me this awesome little bit of sunshine in my life. What kind of dog is he? Um, he's a mud. Um, <laughs> so I think he's got like German Shepherd in him. I think he's got some lab and like the Swiss Mountain Dog in him. He's gonna be a big dog. He's real, yeah. yeah, he's a beast. Yeah, he's gonna but be big, still, big. I bet his paws are oh, like his But wintertime though is gonna be fun for him. He's, oh, gonna yeah. love he's got monster paws. 
Yeah, he's huge. He's that's cool though because rescue dogs is where you know everybody really needs to go. No, of, no I dogs. Agree. Period. I got Jim two, Jam, he can't I got take two care dogs, dogs for my but... kids, and it was terrible, terrible. It's, well, because you didn't get them for your kids; they're your dogs when you buy dogs for your well, kids. Well, then I'm gonna get a Chihuahua then. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the best bet. I want a Chihuahua. My a big guy like me needs a little bitty puppy to hold his arm while he's driving. Stroking there you it. go. Stroking it. Like, you get a little baby poos and just kind of stick it to the side of your head and just slide him in there like a remote. He'll be, <laughs> he'll be stroking it and be like, I'm going to take over the world. <laughs> be good. All right, well, um, I think we should get into the giveaway you're, you're having right now. Oh, yeah. So I've been collecting stuff from my some of my favorite small businesses and artists and stuff like that since, I want to say, like, August. Um, I started getting some stuff when I went to the Connecticut Horror Fest back in August and got some prints and stuff. And um, it's just like a collection and just a way of saying, like, thank you to, I call them my little ghoulish army because they're amazing. And um, I wanted just a way to say thank you back to just for creating this amazing community that, you know, has just kind of like sprung up. <laughs> it just like took off really quickly. And I'm so grateful so i've been you know i buy a lot of like horror pins and prints and um being i love using wax melts <laughs> so there's a few businesses i really like a lot and they you know were sending me um with my order like i'd buy doubles of it or they'd send me some freebies so it's just a collection of a bunch of really cool horror it's like halloween everyday kind of stuff so um and it's running till december 4th which is a sunday until midnight um eastern standard time and then probably like Monday or Tuesday I'll pick a, a winner randomly so and it's like you enter once a day um, per person or you can go ahead and actually get an additional um, entry a day if you take a picture with one of your Ghoulish Joyce Bath Shop products um, so I've already got a couple of those so it's actually kind of cool I, that's, I love seeing people using stuff I love hearing feedback so I, I really like those entries those make me happy okay so enter through Instagram is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, it's through Instagram. Um, it does automatically post to Facebook, but all of my announcements and shop info and basically all my communication is strictly through Instagram. That's a very quick burst of information that I can do for my phone. So it's easier for me to use Instagram than, you know, like, you know, 60 emails a day kind of thing. Like, eh, at least I can shoot out a quick burst of information in like 15 seconds. You know, just to get touch base with people, and think I like disappeared. So, <laughs> as long as you post a picture, but so, but through yeah. Instagram, is there a certain hashtag or is there? <clears throat> oh, I was... Um, yeah, it's uh, hashtag Ghoulish Army Eleven K, okay. and you have to like tag a friend and then tag me as well, um, and that makes your entry valid. Um, you don't technically have to. Um, follow the shops that um are in the giveaway but i highly recommend that you do just because they are amazing shops so um i really do like them a lot so I, say that again goose show me what uh it's ghoulish army 11 like the number 11 yeah. and then k like eleven thousand. okay that's that's what i'll because after this of course you know i'm gonna that way we can put it in our posts and everything you know yeah and the, uh, awesome. in, in the video but uh, I want to touch on this real quick. I get okay. ex I get excited about stats. Yeah, he gets and we're very up to twenty two, no twenty three people right now. So what? Twenty three people are listening to the live stream. Woo. Oh really? Our yeah, first, our that's first live exciting. stream. Too. Yeah, I'll I'll be at work and I'm like Johnny, we got another view on the uh, YouTube. Yeah. He's like, okay. That's cool, Jim Jam. Uh, I get, I you know I still get excited. When I go to, like, my website and just look to see, like, even though I'm, I'm sold out of stuff, I love to, like, go and see, you know, if people are visiting. And I still get excited about, like, so, like none of that, like, awe and wonder. I've, I'm not numb to that. Like, I still get excited for every like that I get, every comment, every, like, hashtag or people tagging me and stuff. Like, that, like, awe and wonder is not ever going to go away. Like, I'm still just... Yee! Like, I get so excited. <laughs> see, that's Jim Jam. I don't, see, I don't have to because Jim Jam... You know, I do this because I really enjoy it. And whether or not right. people are listening or not, I still enjoy it. 
Like this is well, just I what enjoy, I enjoy what, doing. Damn, you just make me think of. No, I'm just saying. Like this is what I, 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 this is what I've been wanting to do for a long time. Like talking to people and just, and and I'm hoping people listen. Trust me, I want people to listen, and it is exciting knowing people are listening. Just like right now, that's cool. That's yeah. awesome. Oh yeah, my my heart just went a little flutter. I'm like, because <gasps> I I really I didn't know if anyone was going to log in and listen. Yeah, to that's that what I was thinking channel. too. I was like, like I hope some people do. So everybody I'll listening, it when, you know, it's recorded. I mean, it's awesome. Yeah, everybody listening to the live stream right now, go give us feedback, please. We we need that. Yeah, that's and that's how we that's know my what to do is, better. You yeah, know. we want feedback, constant. Like, what yeah. can we do? Uh, that I think that because um, it helps having like an open line of communication with the people that you're directly like interacting with is like huge. Like I've learned so much from my goals and what they want, what they don't want, and you know, or like movie recommendations. Like somebody like sent me on my private account because um, uh, that's all I I don't use my DMs through my um, my company Instagram. It's just, it's too wacky. Half the shit gets deleted. So um, sometimes they can catch me on my personal account. And this girl sent me like this huge laundry list of like movies. And like, and I'm, I've seen a lot of movies and this chick was like pulling up all sorts of crazy shit. And I'm like, oh my God. And I start looking into these movies and I was like, yes, I love you. These are just like right up my alley. Like that's the kind of like, I love that. I love that they feel like you know that they can come to me and like you know give me a list of movies and stuff like that like hey check these out like i love that like it doesn't have to be all about like the business or you don't need to like blow yeah. smoke up my ass and you know like just talk like i love talking to people just in general about horror movies and like you know what you eat for breakfast <laughs> 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 i love food so like yeah let's talk about freaking that sweet ass oh, yeah. hot chocolate you had cause i'm de- i'm i'm jealous we definitely love some food over on this side. <laughs> I know. I have, like, so many, like, food allergies and stuff, so I can't really, like, you know, food I can't allergies. go out and eat a whole lot of stuff, so Thank I have to be, like, God, really conscious of what I eat, so. I, I don't have any food allergies, but I don't, allergies really aren't an issue with me, thankfully. That's good. I mean, I'm grateful for that. I'd be thankful for that. I can't eat, I can't <laughs> eat anything. <laughs> so what about the movies? Like, any good horror movies you watched lately? Um, actually, I've been on, like, an 80s. I go through, like, waves, um, depending on, like, I usually do about, like, four run-throughs a year of, of X-Files. So I just finished up, like, taking a break from that. And then um, I was watching a bunch of, like, 80s horror movies. So, like, um, Night of the Creeps, like, Troll 1 and 2, um, all of the Sleepaway Camp. What else did Sleep I watch? Um, a couple really? of things from like the seventies. Like I love seventies and eighties horror movies. Like they just have like that grimy feel to them. So like Alice, Sweet Alice. Like that was one of the first movies I ever watched. And I, <laughs> when I was a kid, I really didn't understand it. But like that chick in a raincoat like fucked me up for like ever. <laughs> like I had it like, <laughs> but I didn't understand it. Like and I didn't. What's funny is I didn't know that that movie was that movie. Until so I was well into my adulthood, and I'm like, holy shit, it's Alice, sweet Alice, and that crazy bitch in a raincoat. <laughs> Just okay. messed me up, so. Um, I actually did subscribe to, I don't know if you guys are on this, but um, it's called Horror Pack. I love that thing, so I get sent, like, I ended up getting rid of, like, a lot of my DVDs um, and put them towards credit at my local Bull Moose, so I could start kind of, like, getting more Blu-rays. Oh, yeah, I remember you and, saying that um, the last time. You got rid of a big collection of stuff. Yeah, so I got rid of a bunch of them, and um, I like horror packs because I do like a DVD or a Blu-ray thing. But I like that it's like a blind pack. I don't know what the hell is coming. So, like, if I do end up getting doubles, I just put it towards trade. But, like, I get, like, the craziest shit in this pack. Like, it's not even a bad thing either. Like, I think it's, like, 25 bucks, and you get, like, four or five Blu-rays. Like, you can't beat that with a stick, like, oh, that's at all. Good, actually. Um, I mean, so, at the I think Walmart it was, bin, it's, like, <laughs> seven bucks anyways. Yeah, I mean the Blu-rays are like seven to eight bucks, right? At Walmart. Yeah, they're like wicked expensive. I remember when I bought like Christmas I mean, on. You know, like that, that big bin that, that they have them in. Oh yeah, yeah. Like all the movies that are marked down really cheap, but they're still like seven bucks for a Blu-ray. Yeah. I mean, when are people uh, going to get rid of DVD I don't know, players? But I did score all of the um, all the Exorcist movies like in a nice collector's Blu-ray. What else That's did cool. I get? What about the Exorcist TV show? You've been watching it. You know, I think I'm actually like three episodes behind. I think 
I was really excited for it, and I couldn't wait. I for some reason like. I was like, yeah, it's on, and then I, I thought it would got canceled. So then my excitement died down. I'm like, it's just another letdown. And then I watched it, and I found myself kind of, like, drifting a little bit. Um, I don't know why. It's just it's not – my attention span is really bad because I'm always working. So it's hard for me to, like, dedicate a lot of time to something that I haven't watched before. That's why I watch a lot of, like, X-Files and stuff because I've seen all the episodes, like, multiple times. So it's like I, I kind of know what's going on but I don't have to pay attention. I just need something playing in the background. Um, but I mean, I, I, I liked it. I just couldn't like get like a hundred percent devoted into it a little bit. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? I, I enjoy it. Yeah. It's pretty fucking yeah. nuts to me. It's, it's especially showing that shit on, uh, regular cable TV. Some of the stuff. That yeah. Is. I think, I think that's crazy. Like, Sometimes I look back at the kind of movies that we watched, or like we're allowed to watch when we were kids, and we're like, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, but now, like, he be is like, holy shit, like, that's, that's like right on, almost on par. Like, I think, like, we saw, like, a lot of TNA and a lot of swearing. That's kind of omitted, but. I wasn't allowed to watch any of that stuff. Like, you didn't? No, I wasn't allowed to watch that stuff. Johnny was sheltered. Uh, I wasn't sheltered. No, I would go to friends' houses and watch stuff, but I wasn't allowed. To watch stuff. I like, um, you know, I loved it. But I, 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 I like I, I it. I like it. Uh, I like it. TNA? I mean, I, no, Exorcist. Oh. TNA is good. <laughs> yeah, TNA is good. But I like the Exorcist. And uh, I was, I think, I think the biggest disappointment is American Horror Story Roanoke. I was into That's, it, uh, sort of. But I told my brother at the very beginning of the season, I said they have a really good chance to fucking this up. Yeah, I wasn't, like, super into it. I Again, I found myself, see, like, I'm like, all right, because I've always been a huge American Horror Story. I mean, I'd, like, I'm going to be coming out with, this is for people that are listening right now. Um, I'm actually going to be having a lot of new products coming out at the beginning of next year, solely dedicated to Coven. Um, and, I'm, like, super pumped. Like, that is, like, my lifeblood. Like, I loved American Horror Story. I remember the freaking day that I discovered it. It was, like, this is me as a TV show. Like, like this is the best. And so I, I was like a dedicated sure. time to watch it, and it was like a show within a show, within documentary, within that's a, an award it. show. It's like, what that's... is happening? And I think that's the thing that killed me is I'm very like atmospheric. I love I love my movies and shows to be very atmospheric. So when they have like that break in between, like doing the interview and then going and like getting into the story, and then they would break that suspense with an interview and I'm like can you just fucking stop for like maybe 20 minutes and just let me like get a little freaked out a little bit <laughs> so this is my first season watching it so oh don't, yeah don't start on this one go back to Murder House I don't know it's cause yeah, like, you'll like that I'm not in softcore porn <laughs> you know well like, it does no, like, you're, don't, you're watch, don't watch Hotel then yeah, like, it just doesn't do anything for me. Like, it's just like, eh, okay, whatever, you know. Well, then, uh, well, thank God. <laughs> I'm, like, trying to think. I'm like, oh, which one's not super sexual? But they're all, they See, all exactly. Like they're it's little... like you're watching Cinemax, you know, late night. <laughs> Skina, Skinamax. Yeah, Skinamax, you know. Skinamax. But it's like the PG Skinamax. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> in, hotel, in Hotel, Lady Gaga had pasties on the whole time. Yeah, like, come on. Yeah, come it's on. a little like, oh, that's like half a tit constantly. Yeah, like, it's like, mm, doesn't even just half a tit. <laughs> so instead of blurting it out, they just put her, put some pasties on her. Yeah, my Like a well. women yep. just running around with pasties on. <laughs> yeah. It's like the PG yeah. strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's pasties only here. <laughs> Like, you're paying to watch that shit? What? No. Oh, no. Half tit. Hello? No. <laughs> I got a little side boob. It's all right. No. Oh. I guess, the, but yeah. like you say, the TNA part of it, I guess, is what they're trying to put out. A whole lot of that on that yeah. show. Yeah, I think the only, like, I've been okay with it. Um, I think the only time um, I was kind of like, eh, was with um, the one with Lady Gaga um, Hotel. And I think they, it was just, I think everyone, because it was to meet the expectations, I feel like, um, that first episode, I was like, holy, can you just, like, even, like, I am very, I don't care about any of that crap, like, whatever, like, I watched Necromantic just fine, like, that, whatever, um, but even for me, like, that was just, like, I'm like, come on, like, I know you guys, like, I want to get, this is, like, a very rare, scary show that I get to watch, 
you know what I'm saying? Like, this comes around once a year. Like, I want to get to that stuff that, like, I felt in, like, the first three, four seasons, you know? I don't know. It's pretty brutal this year, though. I mean. It was what? It's pretty brutal this year, though. I mean, some people. It was, and it was just, I feel like um, I couldn't just get into it just because it was very broken up. I will probably go back and rewatch it again, like, continuously. Um, I feel like that maybe will make it flow a little bit better instead of having to wait every week. But this um, past episode, though, sucked. This yeah, like, we can't. I don't know if everyone's watched it, so we can't go. I'm just like saying any, it sucked. I, I don't like care. People are like three or four episodes behind, or it's still got the last one to watch. I don't so. care. I don't care. It sucked. It sucked. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a savage. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, they ruined it. They ruined the whole show. I, mean, I shouldn't say that, but I'm, I'm going to give. Trust me, I'm going to give next week's a try. This is Johnny's review. Of I'm going to give life. next week's a try, but it pissed me off that they ruined this version. one. I mean, like, of course, every of course, course you can have bad episodes, but you can have bad episodes in a season. Yeah, I mean, Supernatural don't, but you know, whatever. whatever. Everybody can't be perfect. Whatever can't be supernatural, I guess. No, I'm just, I'm just... I know later on they're going to be like tying in, not like next season, but the season after. I feel like I think they're going to be tying in. Um, uh, Murder House and Coven, which I'm excited about. They're going to be bringing people back from that. So I'm, I'm excited. I did, um, what was I watched? Uh, 31 finally. Finally got around to watching that. What'd you think? Um, she didn't like it. I love Doomhead. Like, oh, I really, oh boy, everybody loved Doomhead. He was, he made loved, the movie. Definitely. I feel like, um, when I got done watching it, I kind of like had like silent contemplation. Because I didn't really know, like, what to make of it. Because it was, <clears throat> I usually stay away from, like, reviews. Like, I love, I love all movies for the most part. And it's very rare where my opinion of it will, will alter. Yeah, I just stay away from reviews. Um, and I was like, all right, I'm not going to read anything about this. Like, I kind of, like, but it, it crept up in social media and stuff. Like, everyone hated it or they really loved it. And I feel like, I don't know, like, like I said, silent contemplation. And I was like, all right. Like, it felt like kind of like a Rob Zombie movie that had been done before. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but, like, it wasn't, like, my super... Oh, no! It's like the dog's sa- chewing on the purse. It's like, yeah. um, uh, it's, it would maybe be a side story to Devil's Rejects or something. But, see, for me, like, yeah. I haven't really watched any Rob Zombie movies besides Halloween. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. like, I'm still oh. new to all this. Like, I, oh. I mean, I guess you could say, like, this past year, like, I've learned that I've watched a lot of horror movies. Yeah. But I'm not, like, super horror fan. You know, like, that's my life. Like, Jim Jam and yeah. you. and But I like horror movies. And 31, mm-hmm. I, I enjoyed it. Like, But we would sit in the theater and watched it. You know, the premiere of it. Mm-hmm. And, of course, they they botched the ending. The, I mean, the ending was just like, what? What? Yep. I, mean, I didn't find the ending. I was like, all right, let's do this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, kinda, like I was like, but I don't know. I didn't mind the ending actually. Do you know the way that the way that it ended in? It's not time, and then it, all of a sudden it's daytime. Like how long did it take her to get through there? Coming out with that a was limp. Daytime when she ended up going into the last house, and then when they met out on the road, it was still daytime. No, that's were, what I'm saying though. But she come out of the tunnel. It, she come out of the tunnel. It was daytime. It was, yeah, well, you figure they started, like, it was a 12-hour. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. you go in the tunnel, it's look, really look dark. Oh, look at you poking holes in that shit. <laughs> Do what? She's talking to her dog. Like oh. Poking holes. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I love I loved I Doomhead, Shithead, that little, like, Nazi oh, yeah. um, midget guy. Yeah. It was I, interesting. I, 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 know, I, I think. You can't say midget. That's that's a bad word. Is it a small <laughs> no. no, there's some people that like music. Sorry, right? I, I, I don't just, know. I'm just. I listened to a comedian. He said he, he didn't mind the word midget, but just the other day, that's weird. Know. No, it's a little person. Yeah. Little person. My dad. I don't know these things. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. You, um, you need to become PC, okay? Huh? Like, like we're politically correct here over here. Like you need to be yeah. PC. Yeah. Like PC, matter. sorry. Like it fucking sorry, matters. my bad. Um, I think like I think he was my least favorite. You know, Jim Jam is scared of them. Or, no, who was it? No, no, Scott is scared of oh, little is people. 
Oh, yes. wow. Of shithead? No, 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 little people. Oh. Like a, a dude at work, he's scared of little people. scared of little people. Yeah, oh, like, like he's like he's like. Well, I'm not scared of. I'll talk to him, but they kind of freak me out. <laughs> I'm like what? I'm like, dude, what? That's, that's, like, that's random. That's fucked up. I have man. a really bad phobia. You want to hear this? This is weird. I have a really bad phobia. Like if I get if I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt or like a sweater and sweatshirt or whatever, and I get water in my cuff and it goes like it beads up on my skin, like underneath the clothing. I like freak the fuck out like there's something about like getting water inside my clothing like on my hands and up my arms that just literally makes my skin crawl that's like being afraid of cotton balls that's weird (laughs) you know what's so funny oh Oh my god you just hung up on her oh hold on (laughs) he just hung up on her oh yeah my phone just was like nope f you (laughs) i think jim jim hung up on you i think the wire my my headphone wire touched the screen Oh. oh, that was Anyways, good. I was, what was you saying? Because we got four minutes left on the live stream. Okay, cool. Four minutes. Hey, who's ever listening? We appreciate it. Then if yeah, yeah, thank you. Leave feedback I for it. Like, I'm... Amanda, us, and anything. it looks like a uh, Bree, our writer slash reviewer, is listening too. What up, Bree? Who? Our she's she writes reviews for us and stuff like. She's that. a really cool person. Yeah. Oh yay! She videoed the uh, Tony Moran Tony Moran interview. Yeah. Oh okay. Did you listen to that? I'm putting you on the spot. I think I got like halfway through, and then I think my Wi-Fi cut out or something. I don't know. I I literally yeah, I'm bad. I didn't listen to all the way through that one. That was pretty cool that you guys snagged well, actually, that guy. I mean, you didn't really have to listen all the way through. He told some stories. No, I do. I usually do. <laughs> no, whatever. No, no, no. You've already. <laughs> You've already told us what what you do. It's okay. She probably skips. We'll skim accept through. you halfway through it. No, I'm just kidding. I got halfway through, and then I think I had to like take the dog out or something, or the dog was eating shit or something. Well, that's good though, because I mean, like he told a couple more stories after that, but you couldn't find out anything more about how he felt about Halloween. You know, after we talked to him, like. There was no questions you could ask him about Halloween because he told us everything. He That's th- pretty awesome. He thought it was shit. It's always good when you like are able to communicate with you know. You know, some people are very difficult to get information from, oh, he's and a it, there's no like dude. flow, or you're just you have to like pull information from them. He's... Very indecisive, so it's great when someone's like very excited about what they've done in the past. They're proud of their work. And they're very open to like giving you information and expanding on it. So, but he's like that's always total surfer dude. Oh yeah, dude. like literally. I, I, I mean, he's just a beach guy. Like to me. Oh yeah, he lives in that's... some. I can't remember exactly where, but but is it like L.A. Somewhere around there, yeah. Probably yeah. But he loves surfing yeah. and all that. So like, he was just a really laid back guy. Like, fucking awesome dude to talk to. That's why I said, if anybody ever gets a chance to meet him. Just go up to him and talk to him. Yeah. He'll talk to anybody. It seemed like. That's cool. Oh, I didn't even tell you. I met Eleven from Stranger Things. Hell yeah. Yeah, she's adorable. So adorable. At so the whole, At the uh, Comic-Con? Yes. Oh, God, she's so cute. She, like, had her phone out, and she's, like, hugging everybody and taking selfies with the people, and she was just so excited to be there, and just, like, she... She had a little outfit on from the show, kind of like those little like. Oh God, she was just precious and excited. All she's those British. kids I didn't are even really, she's really British nice. either. All those kids seem really, really nice. It was just—it was nice to see someone like so pumped and like kind of just la la la. She was just so excited. It was really cool. And I met Christian Slater. I met Pam from True Blood. Gave her a hug because she's fantastic. Well, met Lando from Star Wars. Was well, um, Christian saw Slater Tara there? Reed. Random, Sarah, uh, Shannon Doherty. Why well, was Harry's Christian Slater the there, though? Person on the planet. So random. I was like, "What are you doing here?" <laughs> well, who, uh, well, Tara, Tara Reid because of of Sharknado. But Christian Slater, why was he there? Um. Well, Mr. What's Robot. Oh. Oh yeah. 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 We got twenty eight cool. seconds on the live stream, so. Uh, oh okay. We'll probably have to wrap the live stream up. So, yeah. Uh, no, hey guys, no. thanks for listening to the live stream. Yep, yep. Yay. 
Thank y'all. Thank you. Check out the rest of the podcast on YouTube. And yeah, we'll, we'll have the rest of the stuff on YouTube Wednesday. And everywhere else. Hey, if you uh, go to our, po- our, our Patreon, you can get early access. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah. That was a good first live stream. There you go. That's cool. That, that works. That works. But yeah, I'm Christian sure Slater. What, what horror movie was Christian Slater in? Was he ever in a horror movie? Uh, Who did Hollow Man? That was uh, Kevin Bacon. No? Kevin Bacon. Yeah, yeah. That was Man. Kevin Bacon. Okay, yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was thinking of him. Yeah. That was a weird movie. Sweet. He went crazy. That looked out good. Now, did that use up an hour of your time, or did it do a half hour? Uh, we're at 50 minutes. But, uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so... Hey, we're probably... So cut this short. I'll just keep yammering. Oh, yeah. Well, Jim Jam was like 30 minutes, but not any better. <laughs> well, you know, it, it always goes longer than that. Yeah, when you I have a good conversation, it's going to go longer. You, when, yeah, when you're having fun, you know, it always... Yeah. But, uh... Appreciate you, uh, everything you helped us get, come this far with, and that's well. I'm glad some people showed up on the live stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, it's all because uh, of you, though. Yeah, they wanted to hear huh? you. It's a, because they wanted to hear you. They like, oh, I never heard her voice. So let's see who I'm buying bath yeah. products from. Damn it! Yeah. They don't want to. <laughs> they don't want to hear my mush mouth. No. Oh, stop. <laughs> that was fine. Um, you did good. No, I mean, I can tell from like the last time I think I talked to you, but this time, like your audio, like on my end, and I think on what I heard from the live stream when we we're testing it out, was like way better. Yeah, that's because we have new mics. <laughs> yeah, we you got new everything. Our mic. All right, man. Uh, we appreciate you being here and uh, talking yeah. to us, and it's great. We need to do it again sometime. Agreed. Yeah, please. Oh. We can do this more often. Yeah, yes, we did. I like the I like the live stream thing though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I figured that out yesterday. But anyways, uh, we'll talk to you again. Maybe sometime we can just have you on, just to have you on. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind talking about horse stuff at all. <laughs> it sounds great. All right. Well, you have a good no. night, and we'll talk to you soon. Oh, all right. You guys too. Thank you again. Right, you have a th- happy Thanksgiving. You too. Yay! You too. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Bye. Wow, that was a good interview. It wasn't supposed to spend that long, but it happened when you have fun. You talk to people for a long time. Oh, yeah, and then a really successful live stream, too. Hopefully, y'all like that. Yeah, maybe we do it again if uh, people are interested. Like, comment. Feedback, please. Hit that like button. But also, just remember, if you want to enter in this con- this contest or this giveaway. Con- giveaway, yeah, contest. What the fuck am I thinking? Go to Instagram, hashtag ghoulisharmy11k. Yes. For that opportunity. And check Ghoulish Delights out. And of course, her shop's, she's re upping her supply on the shop. Amanda's a great person. She makes amazing products. Yeah. And guys, if you li- if any, if guys, if you listen, you want me to appreciate all this shit. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we was lucky enough to uh, be around the start of uh, Ghoulish Delights. Yeah. I think we started talking to her before she had her story. It's actually okay. uh, before March, because it was before the full moon. Yeah, because she sent it. That's, yeah. So, yeah, it's been awesome. We've got to kind of grow together. Yeah. So, we appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe, and comment. Hit, hit, hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Instagram. Let us know what you think. If you're listening this far, you've listened this far. Let us know what you think. True listen to what we have to say. What we've done. So, yeah. Lord.